Okay, so Shakur Stevenson returned to the ring against Artem Harutyunyan, and after watching this fight, one of the only things that really stood out to me was Shakur's defense. Something I talk about in every film study on Shakur's fights is his ability to pressure his opponents by stepping forward with his rear foot first, then his lead foot. This allows him to sneak into punching range, since stepping the rear foot first allows him to inch his lead foot forward into punching range without making his stance too wide, and also allows him to keep the rest of his body back. The thing is, standing in punching range is standing in the danger zone, and punches are bound to come his way. Shakur is excellent at standing at just the tip of punching range, where he knows he could be hit by certain punches, and looking out for those punches. He's able to pull back just enough to dodge the punch, and this requires incredible reaction speed and athleticism to pull off at the consistency Shakur can successfully make his opponents miss. However, it's not always all reaction speed and athleticism. Shakur is good at controlling which punch his opponent will throw. Here we see him reach out and hand fight with Artem's lead hand. This not only controls Artem's lead hand, but also blocks the path of his jab. Since Shakur is standing at jab range, he can not only anticipate Artem to try to loop a punch around, but also he can get out of the way with a well-timed pullback. And this missed hook from Artem makes him fall out of position, and Shakur makes him pay with a body shot as Artem is trying to readjust. Also here, Shakur steps into punching range rear foot first, and does the same thing controlling Artem's lead hand and blocking the jab lane. Again, since he knows he's at the tip of punching range, anything Artem throws at his head, he could pull back from. And so you see instead of the left hook, Artem goes for a straight right, and Shakur is able to pull it as well. He doesn't need to know exactly what punch is coming, he can limit his opponent to a certain few punches and react with something that defends both options. Shakur's low lead hand, even against orthodox opponents, also makes his head an inviting target, and we see Shakur show off his incredible reactions and timing by pulling each punch despite being in punching range. Artem did do all of the right things during the fight, like changing up his rhythm and fainting to try to offset Shakur's timing and remain unpredictable, but a lot of Shakur's ability to avoid punches while standing in range is due to his awareness of distance and his reaction speed to recognize punches. Martunian is doing a good job, again, changing his rhythm up, not coming in the same way. Look at getting that, getting that lead foot outside of Shakur to be able to set up his right hand. Just like you see here, Shakur is in range and he's able to pull this jab from Artem and this makes Artem feel like he's not in range, but he is because the distance between the lead foot of each fighter is what determines punching range. So Shakur is able to just pop him and surprise him with this left hand. The thing is, I wouldn't recommend this lean back in punching range as a safe strategy to practice. The thing is, even if you lean back, you are still in punching range, and you are still susceptible to getting hit like Shakur did on several occasions during this fight. Stepping out of range is the most foolproof option, especially against body attacks, and Shakur definitely is great at recognizing these and stepping back appropriately. Edwin De Los Santos showed that even though he lost, he had Shakur constantly jumping out of the way from his body attacks, unable to counter. Possibly someone else in the future could do the same to Shakur and trap him on the ropes to do damage to him. I know I only showed him pulling punches in this video, but Shakur is also excellent at catching, rolling, ducking, and blocking punches as well, since I know someone is going to leave a comment about that. And that's going to do it for this one. This was Shakur's last fight on his top rank contract, and he supposedly turned down a 5 fight extension with them for a guaranteed 15 million. Where do you guys think he goes from here? And do you think he made the right choice? Personally, I know he wants the Tank Davis fight, so I think he's going to end up with PBC. Whether he gets the fight or not is another story. And as always, thank you all to my GOAT tier patrons, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Albert Chen, Gostal Igeza, Marshall Bott, Jesus Galindo, Nyan Valdez, MSM Neil, Kashif Zaman, User, RC, Daniel Contreras, Ace, as well as my channel member, Lucas Miller. You all keep the channel going, and I'll see you guys all next time.